Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Coop and Cassis for IFL TV. We're at the Wayne here for Ring of Fire. Fury vs. Usek tomorrow night. Live on... The Zone. <laughs> and um, TNT and Sky Sports. I can say that. Whatever. <laughs> Kate Abdo, first of all, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. How are you, Coogan? Wonderful, thank yeah. you very much. Excited for tomorrow night? Very excited for tomorrow. Undisputed. It's a big fight. It's, I feel Honestly, I feel very blessed to be able to host this one. Very cool for me. This is like the Champions League of boxing events, isn't it? It's like the Champions League final, the World Cup final, all rolled into one, yeah. Got Lennox with me for the show, got Joe Parker with me. Very cool. Great team on the broadcast. The sort of broadcast being announced, yeah, it's a great team. You must be uh, yeah, happy that you've got such a secure squad. <laughs> I'll feel very safe tomorrow on the stage, yeah. No, I think we're... Listen, you wanted to have... If you wanted to have anybody on this broadcast, you wanted to have Lennox Lewis, right? Last undisputed champion, 25 years, he's held the crown. So I think it's very cool to know that he's going to be the one that, that hands over the belt in the ring come fight night, but also we get to have his experience and his wisdom all night long with us, yeah. Now you're firmly part of Team Wilder, which you are, really. What's the feeling within kind of I'm that? I'm pastor, I'm neutral, but obviously, I, but, yes. but you are um, sort of, yeah, I'm, sure. I'm, I'm team, team Malik Scott, is what I am. Who's but. Team Wilder, so that makes you <laughs> Team Wilder as well. What are you thinking about it all? Like, is in terms of who, who wins tomorrow night? Obviously, Deontay, someone, and Malik, they know Tyson Fury over those three fights, etc. What are they thinking about tomorrow night? Who do they think tomorrow night? Oh, uh, I mean, you'd have to ask them. I don't want to speak out of turn. I don't know what Deontay thinks. Um, I think that Malik thinks that a, a lighter Tyson Fury, the kind of the version of Tyson Fury that we're seeing, uh, and we'll see when he weighs in, is it, going to be a dangerous Tyson Fury for Alexander Usyk. I know he has a great relationship with Alexander Usyk, and he thinks incredibly highly of him. Malik is always going to think incredibly highly of somebody with that kind of boxing IQ and skills. But he's also got a lot of respect for Tyson Fury, so yeah, tough point. More importantly, what do you think is going to happen tomorrow night? Ooh, big question. Uh, again, I'm neutral, so I officially have no opinion on this one, Coogan. Um, I don't know. I think it's going to be a great fight. I know there's some people saying that, yeah, it'll be a stinker. It won't be an interesting fight. I think we'll get a dramatic fight, an exciting fight. I don't really care who wins. I'm excited either way. Just as a fan, would you rather see, whatever the outcome is, a rematch between these two, or would you rather see a Fury Joshua after this? Because this is going to be a talking point I know after this weekend. Yeah, that's a tough one. Um, how about this? I would be okay with if we get a rematch of this one, because I think either fighter, who everyone deserves a chance to get back, right? So I, I would like to see a rematch of the fight tomorrow night. And meanwhile, let's have Anthony Joshua against Deontay Wilder and with that one. Everyone's always wanted oh, that I want to see that. I want to see Joshua Wilder. I don't care that Wilder lost to, to Parker. I was like, let's just get AJ and Wilder in the ring. Yes, amen, I'm with it. Absolutely. Now, I forgot to ask you last time I interviewed you, actually. You want to have a fight, didn't you? I do want to have a fight, yeah. Who do you want to have a fight with? Now, I don't have a preference. I'll take whoever they give me. I know that Katie Price is mentioned. I, I, I don't know if that's a good matchup. I've You've no got idea. beef for Katie Price. I have zero beef for Katie Price, oh. but that doesn't mean I can't get in the ring with her. Okay. We've seen you on the pads, actually, with Malik, and we've seen you little clippings that you put out. You look half all right, to be fair. So, so let's ask you a question. Who would you pick in that fight, Katie Price or me? I'm Team Abdo. Yes. Fuck, I'm right. Team Abdo. Absolutely. I like Katie, but no, yeah. No, but I want to know, not just because you're Team Abdo, I want to know, do you actually think I could beat her? If, you, if you're asking me for that, I have no fucking idea. You look good on the pads, but, you know, so good a lot of people. But actually, you look like you've actually... But you're kind of with doing that with Malik, so that kind of makes sense that that kind of... Uh, it's fluid, it looks kind of natural, so either way, I'm Team Abdo anyway. It's not the vote of confidence I was hoping for, but I'll take it, alright? <laughs> no, I'm being honest, I don't know. Listen, I don't know if you can fight, or, or I don't even know if Katie Price can fight, to be fair, but... I feel like Katie Price has some physical advantages over me that may get in her way in this fight. I have no idea what you're talking about, but anyway... <laughs> But is that something that seriously could happen? Misfits, maybe? Uh, I'd be down to do it. The thing, I need, I need my coach to be available to me. That's the only thing. Obviously, he's been in camp recently. I've been traveling non-stop with football. So if there's the right time of year that we can make it happen where I can actually get a good camp. What I don't want to do is go out there and look like a fool. Uh, I'm not down to do that.
But if I can go out there with a, a good six week camp in me and look good, yeah, I'm down. Well, the people you've got in your corner, that's never going to happen. You're never going to look bad anyway, so we'll see what happens. Last question. What did you make of all the antics from Team Fury and, well, in specifically John Fury the start of the week? Took all the headlines on Monday here in Saudi Arabia. What was your opinion on it? Listen, it, I mean, if it sells the fight, I guess it's no bad thing. It, it creates interest around it. Personally, uh, I, I would I would like for us to be able to sell fights without that kind of thing happening. I, I, but I think it's boxing. The stakes are high. Things happen. Emotions spill over. It, it just, it's one of those things. I don't have a strong opinion on it. Who wins the league on Sunday? Man City, definitely. Do you, <laughs> look at your face. Yeah, I think so. I think it's gone for you, hasn't it, Coogan? It's gone. One more question. When Son run for one goal against Man City and missed it, did he do it on purpose? No. Why, did you feel like he did it on purpose? I'm not, I'm not saying he did, I'm just saying nine times Why out of ten... Why are you questions that you're not willing to answer? Nine times out of ten, Son slots them goals away. Eight and six minutes where that goal would have changed the whole course of the title race. He, he hits it weak and saved by Ortega. I'm just asking your opinion. Said the Arsenal fan, yeah. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter. It's done. Man City are going to batter West Ham on Sunday. And uh, yeah, it's over for another year. And that's a wrap. <laughs> that's all she wrote. Okay, Abdo, thank you very much for talking to nice IFL TV. You. Enjoy your weekend here in Saudi, and uh, we'll catch up with you again soon. Good to see you. Nice to see you.